appearing on racetracks around the world this year is the new Porsche 997 RSR. There are several of this new car that will be competing in the American Le Mans series this year and it should help to keep Porsche at the top of the GT2 class. All the cars have only very recently been delivered to their teams who are now getting the first chance to run them at the Sebring test. Porsche factory driver Jörg Bergmeister won the GT2 championship for the last two American Le Mans seasons and this year is driving with a new team to him, Flying Lizard Motorsports. He's been pretty keen to get into the new 997 and get to grips with it. Well, it's the first test for us here in Sebring, um, well, at least for me it's the first test with this car. Um, we made a lot of improvements already and it shows good performance so far and I'm really happy with it. It has um, quite some more downforce, uh, wider tyres obviously, but also some more weight, which you especially feel in the quick direction changes. But I think it's a good improvement to come. As well as some teams that have been running in the American Le Mans series for quite a number of years, there's also some new teams that will be making camp in the paddock, swelling the numbers of Porsches that will be on track against the other GT2 cars like the Ferrari 430 and the Paynos Esperante. Tavel Racing are not a new team in themselves, but they are new to the American Le Mans series and they'll be lining up for the full season this year, bringing with them two of the new 997 GT cars, and along with Jim Taffel and Dominic Farnbacher, their drivers include serious regulars Wolf Hensler and Robin Liddell. It's a very good package, they've packaged the car very well, and uh, yeah, we certainly expect to see some gains over the old car, and, but like all of these things, when you first get the car, there's obviously some work to be done, and. Uh, it's not clear at the moment just how much improvement we'll be able to make. Um, I certainly hope that we'll be able to compete with the Ferrari, which showed towards the end of last year. It was a very, very strong package. The first race of the year for these cars will be the 12 hours of Sebring, which will be a severe test of the new car's ability and reliability. Despite the Peterson White Lightning team winning the Drivers' Championship last year, it was a close season with some of the other manufacturers who knew her developed cars. But this new car should give Porsche teams the tools to stay ahead of the other marks and continue winning on racetracks not just in North America, but around the world.